Hello ladies and gents, Ro here and welcome to Neuron Films. Today we're going to continue our Final Cut Pro 10.2.1 tutorials and in this tutorial we're going to cover the stabilization or our stabilization feature tool in Final Cut Pro. Let's go ahead and open up Final Cut Pro, go to your events and your project and uh, for example here I just imported a clip here and if you notice it I'm gonna skim through it here show you guys that it's really wobbly and just unstable once you also notice the surroundings and uh, that it's this is just a standard video and uh, as soon as we apply the stabilization effect you'll be able to notice a slight or or more of a difference so let's go ahead and dra drag that right into our project it's a 20 second clip and you're gonna to want to open up your inspector pane. If you go to the right hand side here, or hit Command Four to open it up. I'm gonna to go to the video tab here and scroll all the way down to stabilization. As of right now, I have no stabilization applied whatsoever. So we're gonna go ahead and hit this little uh, rectangle box next to stabilization, which will highlight it and it will apply it. If you notice there, it did automatically apply a stabilization right away, and the the method is automatic and. I highly recommend always use automatic, it will be the best um, for anything you use. Um, there are two we can choose, inertia cam or smooth cam, and smooth cam is basically which is the one it chose as an automatic, as you can see the options didn't really change, but the automatic and the translation smooth, rotation smooth, and scale smooth are the basic ways of animation and file, I mean not animation. Uh, stabilization in Final Cut Pro. Now you can simply adjust these, lessen them or increase them. It really depends on what you prefer. All you gotta do is just take a look at this footage here and you'll be able to notice the difference it makes in the actual footage and how it rotates it. Um, for example, this is the rotation smooth. You can adjust it, make it bigger. As you can see it's actually rotating the clip just a tiny bit just to basically equal out the, stab um, the camera angle. For example, let's say you recorded something and uh, you really were tilting more than anything or let's say you were uh, shaking side to side and you were going uh, up and down not not too much or anything so you might want to use adjust the um, the actual rotation smooth here just to uh, change that up a little bit and uh, simply with the automatic it defaults them to 1.5 everything and if we play the clip you'll be able to notice that it is already slightly stable it's not as stable as it could be but it's definitely more stable than what I had it previously and my original clip here let's play my original clip and as you can see it really kind of bounces around more when this here on the other side focuses on the actual object that we were recording now, depending on the camera you used, or handheld, or a tripod, and you still had still had uh, unstable video, you can play around with these. And uh, sometimes you'll it might even flip your video around if you had really bad like if you were zooming in, for example, it might flip your video. You want to maybe decrease these a little bit that way the effect is not as much, and you'll be able to notice that, that it's actually focusing. It's much better. Now, automatic and the smooth cam are very similar, like I just said. They're basically the same thing. So the other one is the inertia cam, and this is mainly for, for if you're using an actual camera on a tripod, and you're using like zoom effects, you're using uh, maybe pans or uh, static shots. This is going to be very helpful for you guys, and all you got to do is just adjust the smoothing bar. And it'll also detect if, the, if you're using a tripod. Basically, if it's really stable and you're trying to add, add additional smoothing, um, you're going to basically it's gonna have this option here to tripod mode since I didn't use a tripod it detects it automatically um, you can check this box and uh, it will even it will just enhance the video according to your tripod that you're using and it won't mess it up when you adjust this bar here now go ahead and play around with this uh, this is really good stabilization honestly it's really really well and uh, most of the time you're gonna just go with automatic what it chooses for your particular video and adjust these as needed but that's the basics of stabilization be sure to leave any questions in the comment section below thank you guys for watching catch you guys next tutorial and later so let my life be the proof